Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a new kind of keyboard, one that I can't say I've ever come across before. Now I do remember, in, I want to say the mid-2000s, there was the roll-up membrane keyboard that at one point or another someone had one at an office and would you know, show it, look I can roll up my keyboard. But this is a folding keyboard the Royal Kludge F68 um, and it also appears to have some like wing latches to like either hold a phone or a tablet so this um, should be quite interesting uh, from what I understand it's a mechanical keyboard but whatever it is I'm, I'm my interest is definitely peaked so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what we got well at first just opening the box we see that we have a very nice Vel velvet. It's a velvety. I don't think it's real velvet, but it's um, it feels like velvet. And it has straw strength to put it in. Now that is a pretty small bag. So, huh. We got the user manual. We've got a switch puller. I don't believe that this one's hot swap, but being that it's foldable, I kind of get it. <laughs> I kind of get why it wouldn't be. Uh, Looks like we also have a USB, USB-C to USB-C cable with an, a USB-C to USB-A adapter in case um, you need to use the A port instead of the C port, which is a nice thing to see. And then last but not least, the uh, RKF68, the foldable keyboard. Now this is a foldable, it looks to be a 65%. and. Alright, I'm going to have to learn how to use it. Oh, you just click it up or you just put it down. That doesn't have feet. No, it does not have feet. So, but it does have these wings. So I guess we could, um, put our, well, my cell phone wasn't in my case. Like, hey, I got to type out a nice long email. Um, but all I got is my phone. I don't want to sit there just mess with the touch screen. I've got ooh. It actually sounds better than I expected. Not the space bar. Space bar needs some help. But I do kind of like how the keys sound. Oh, they're using red low profile switches. But since there wasn't a switch puller in there, I'm going to assume it's not hot swap. Um, I can see where they want to just solder everything down. But um, this is an interesting little kit. Now, fold those wings back. These wings are, or at least feel like a plastic, but the rest of this case, actually, this part right here, this back part that appears to be screwed in right here, Actually, this whole bottom kind of feels plasticky, but this part of it is definitely a metal, and I think it's aluminum. Oh, it's non-ferrous, so I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the case is made out of aluminum. It has screws on the side. Now, I'm not going to open it up today, and if I ever do open it up, I'm going to be real careful. Um, this is one of those uh, keyboards that, I mean, just really aren't meant to <laughs> be opened up. But I mean, not that we can't. Um, especially if we ever want to get in there and lube the switches or who knows, even add a little foam. Looks like we've got a light here. Now I don't believe, no, there wasn't a uh, 2.4 receiver. So on is probably going to be... Alright, there we go. So it looks like we are searching for connection. Let's see if it's just a Bluetooth connection right off the bat. Yep, it immediately popped up as both a 3.0 Bluetooth device and a 5.0. Nope, we're connected. Alright. I'm not going to complain too much about the switches, but I'm going to try one switch just, just to see. Just out of curiosity. Now, it also appears that we have um, monochrome 
so it's just the single color the white LEDs um, I've been seeing this I think more often on the uh, more business oriented boards like this is like for a road warrior um, type of build and I just wish it had some sort of lock I, I'd like to be able to pick it up without it wanting to fall over almost like I have to hold the whole thing as a plate but yeah I really don't think that these are gonna oh they're jersey switches there's nothing I can grasp on to on the sides nor on the top and bottom there are just n there's nothing for a tool to grab into so I'm pretty sure that we're set with that so that's what we're gonna have to have is um, these switches that you know, let's hit the backspace a bit They're not super pingy, but it's just something that I noticed. Now, I do, as you get more towards the center of the board, it definitely gets a bit blockier. But, I do know there has been times that I have been, well, you know, you're somewhere not your office, and someone sends you an email, and you're like, oh man, I thought I wasn't going to get it until another day, or... I wasn't expecting to get this and I really want I need to respond to it in a timely manner but I'm not near my computer if I had this um, say in the car or you know just in my briefcase because it could sit fit easily fit briefcase I would be able to say all right I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out you know hook my phone up and open up either you know like a document editor before I send it out the email so I can you know take care of any grammar spelling and all that beforehand or just open up my email client and just go to town this is going to be one of those things that I mean it's not like I'm gonna carry just a small 65 percent you know in my car or my briefcase because it's just gonna be like now this I can literally I'd probably be able to stash it once it's folded oh, let me turn it off once it's folded, I could stash this in my uh, glove box. Hell, it would probably fit in the center console as well. But it's, um... It's... It's dimensions... That, I mean, I'd love it if the keys weren't exposed. But, that's another reason why I think that they're soldered on there. So that they can take, you know, a nice... I don't want to say beating, but they they would probably this keyboard would probably handle a little bit of rough rough go at things. It it does seem pretty rugged. There's absolutely no um, give to it. I try to do it this way. I mean, I don't want to give it too much, but that is the one thing that I would have like maybe like a maybe a push and lock or like a press down and lock. Um, hinge that I can actually hinge it open so that I can use it as a regular keyboard. That's the only gripe that I have is picking it up. The bottom's just going to drop out. But other than that, well, for the back, depending on which way you grab it, that's just, uh, I mean, I gotta say, it's just a little not fun. Now, I know I have other arcade boards that have magnetic feet where I could stick them on the back and I can get different typing angles. I think that would have been a good thing to add to this. Um, or, or some flip out feet. Now, uh, that's one thing that I've been seeing with these these uh, w Road Warrior boards is that it's like, all right, well, everybody's gonna be typing at the same angle and it's gonna be very low. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the Royal Kludge RKF68. This is a dual mode, low profile, foldable aluminum 65%. It does come with wings that act as a built-in phone or tablet holder. It is available in either white or black body colors. 
with a choice of either low profile brown or red royal clutch switches. This is a non hot swap north facing PCB with white backlight. The battery on this keyboard is 600 milliamp hour and it comes weighing in at 525 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 13 millimeters off the typing surface while the back sits at 16 and a half millimeters providing for a typing angle of around three degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retail price is $59.99. All right, so I have to say there are things about this keyboard I do like. I like that it's foldable, but I don't like that there's no way to lock it into place. I should be able to lock it when it's folded as well as lock it when it's open so I can pick up the keyboard and not have to worry about it folding on me. And it's, I mean, it doesn't seem to want to, but it will try to unopen when it's locked. There should be, whether it's a latch, whether it's a switch that engages some pins inside of the case, whether it's something that allows me to be able to actually, you know, pick this keyboard up without it unfolding on me. Um, you know, especially if I have it like this and I hand it to somebody, I mean, I have to hold the whole thing. And I mean, while it's substantial, it's not that heavy. So, I mean, there's times that I hand people the keyboard just by the corner, but this is, uh, and I've tried to see if there's like, I mean, there's a ribbon cable, but even some magnets or like something that you could push in, push, pull up something that would lock it into place. But there is none. So, I mean, while I, I like this form factor, I like that it can fit in many, many bags. And, and heck, it could even fit in my glove box. But it's, it's floppy. And I mean, yes, I know it uses white backlight. It doesn't have 2.4. It's using a Bluetooth 5, not LE that I can gather, but a 600 milliamp hour battery? That seems quite low. I mean, I know it's a smaller keyboard and only white LEDs, but still, that wireless communication is gonna drain. It says it takes two hours to charge, but who knows how much time it's gonna provide. I am going to try to do some real fill testing to it before, um, I don't know. I want to open it up and literally seriously like see if I can um I mean since it's I don't think the aluminum will allow the magnetic to go through I was gonna say perhaps I could on the inside glue some really s strong neodymium magnets on the inside so that when it closes it attaches to itself and I do the same thing on the back I mean this would actually work if there's space because then I can actually you know the plastic will stick to the plastic through or the magnet should at least, you know, hold it a bit together. But I mean, right now it's a floppy keyboard. It's like, um, fly away, fly away. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I've, I've been a fan of arcade boards and, and I do like that they've actually released some um, gasket mount keyboards. Um, I do believe actually that they have one that's south facing now, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is a huge leap. And I, I love innovation. I mean, give me something new. But I mean, I have a AK57. I don't even remember the name of it. It's a 60% that came with different colored keys, a knob, and has a tray like for a phone or even a pretty big tab. I think it'll hold it to a 10 inch tablet. And I mean, that one actually has feet that I can adjust the angle. And it, I believe even though it's like a three year old, um, I wanna say it has either a 1750 or an 1800 milliamp hour battery. And that thing has lasted me for a while. So now it's not foldable mind you, but it is pretty small and it'll fit a lot of places not everywhere this one will fit and it is a 60 percent, so it's a slightly smaller but it's got a thicker body but this one not having feet i mean typing at three degrees it's that's gonna hurt i mean and if i put a uh a wrist rest here that i mean kind of helps but i'm still 
my, my wrists are still at an angle that do not feel natural or even comfortable to say the least so I'm kind of just I'm a little lost with that there's things I like about this that I think they did right but when you put it all together the things they did wrong kind of detract from the things they did right I mean a locking mechanism I mean that that that's a simple I mean, if it's foldable you want to be able to lock it into one of the two foldable positions um, now the wings I like um, though that probably could have been an attachment that you could take on and off sometimes you may be at a computer or you may just be using it for your laptop now granted it folds away but is that why there is no adjustable feet and I mean and even if you can't for some reason put foldable feet on the outside of it you know I mean because even some foldable feet that had you know stuck out maybe say five millimeters that could act as feet to give it a bit of an angle to say up to five maybe six degrees um, to fault and then flip it out to get you know seven or nine then that would be great but it's like I don't know I feel like they started on a great path and then somebody said oh well it's got to be done now today well we're not finished well just give us what you got and we'll go ahead to production because it's it's like the design team started out on a quite good trajectory in an aims of building a portable foldable 65 percent for the road warrior but they either ran out of funding or time or both and just had to send to production what they had so far it's this feels like an unfinished product and while like i said i commend rk they they have brought boards to the market that many of us started on um so they're a known brand. I, knock on wood, do not have a royal clutch that has ever died on me. Um, and I have some going a few years back. So, um, but they should not rest on their laurels. Yes, thank you for starting a good foldable keyboard. But how about finishing a good foldable keyboard? How about having a lock mechanism? How about adding some feet? How about some uh, different switch options as well being able to hot swap now there's one thing that I will note uh, for anybody the keycaps actually have a stem that extends from the bottom of the keycap so I'm not very confident there, there might be some keycap profiles that and of course I don't have let me see oh here's oh, let me see a single key Oh, that fits and it works, but it's barely on there. It's like, see? So I don't think that there's going to be the ability, because of the way that this is designed, uh, to replace with another profile that would fit. Because if you notice, on normal keycaps, the stems do not go beyond the bottom of the keycap. But on these, You can see quite well that they do. They stick out beyond the bottom. So I don't think this is going to be compatible, and I think that it should be um, because it has the crosses, and because you're not folding it inwards, it should not matter. You know what keycaps you have on there. Um, but I mean, maybe those are longer so that they better attach. I don't know. But if you're if there's a specific reason mention it and maybe include a few you know a couple colors you know like an escape an enter a different color space bar maybe even some arrow keys so that at least you can customize a little bit i may not be able to get another keycap set that fits it and the keys won't fall off but at least i can customize this to a certain degree those are just my thoughts on it um i I encourage RK to pursue this, but take it off the market and go back to it. Let your engineers hear what I have to say and see what the feedback is in the comments below and and get this right because I think that even at this price range, you fix those things, this is going to be a very popular keyboard with Road Warriors. Not necessarily, I mean, I would buy it and I would like it, 
but I don't think it, I mean, and there's going to be a section of, you know, enthusiasts are going to like it, but for road warriors and for people who just want something that works and really don't care about keyboards, they're still going to like it because they're going to be like, oh, okay, it works. And, you know, these little things like, you know, I mean, <laughs> come on, that's just... I, I just, I, I, I expect a little bit more from RK. That's all. Anyway, um, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed my review. Um, if you have any comments, questions, anything you'd like for me to take a look at when I come back to, it, because I do want to make sure I didn't pull too hard on the switches. It could be a hot swap, but it do, I don't get the impression that it is. If there's anything that you'd like for me to specifically take a look at let me know down in the comments below let's get a conversation started and um we'll see maybe we can uh, help rk get to a much better product in the end and everybody will be happy so i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test and again i have the uh these are the reds in here right yeah these are the reds so um i'm going to do the stock sound test with the rk low profile reds um, on this RKF68 folding 68% with a uh, 600 milliamp hour back. I, so when I first saw that 600 milliamp hour, I, I honestly thought I was misreading it. It should have been 1600 or 2600, but no, it's 600 because I saw it in two different sources, even though they, I did not see it on the Royal Clutch site. But then looking at this, I could see how it could be difficult, but I could... I could definitely see a 1,000 milliamp hour battery or bigger, one of the long skinny flat ones fitting in there. But again, I haven't opened it up. I don't believe this is one of those that's intended to be opening it, open it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because honestly, I wanna see if I can super glue some, some magnets in there and actually fix a couple of these things. Because like I said, if, it, if you had hot swap, if you had RGB, because I mean, yes, I know this is for road warriors, but you know, I know myself and I know other people that literally will switch like, you know, if they're not in a hurry, that, you know, they're coding something out in a hurry, they switch their backlights to green. If they, they're they kind of in a crunch, they switch over yellow. But if they're like, got to get some code done, they switch over to red. That's not everybody. Just some people. I think having RGB would be important or offer a few more. Um, solid colors though it's just easier just to put RGB lights in there um, and I don't think I mean yes it's going to drain the battery a little bit more but that's why you put a bitter, bigger battery in it you also should attach some feet even if they're magnetic feet you know it's maybe something that you know I can store in the nice velvet bag that, you, that comes along with it um, but I feel like this is a beta product being a beta tester of many things over the last couple of decades this to me feels like an unfinished product and i i hope that rk does not abandon this i hope they come back to it and give us a revision too so i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test i hope that you guys enjoy and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on <laughs>